Guys, 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 guess what? Guess what just came in the mail? Hey guys, it's Julie and welcome to my channel. So this video is going to be about revealing Hamilton's DNA using the Wisdom Panel 4.0 test. I've been wanting to do this for quite some time now. It's been a couple of years since I wanted to try this out, I think. Um, so I finally decided to just do it, to just go for it. So I ordered it and it just came in. And it got here pretty quickly actually. So I ordered it one day and then I got an email the next day saying that it had shipped and then three days later it actually came. So from the time that I ordered it to the time that I actually came in was only four days, which isn't so bad, and that was just with standard shipping. So I've already opened it up just to check it out and make sure that everything is good to go in there, which it is, but I will open it up here again on camera so y'all can see what it looks like. So this is the front, and then this is the back, and it just says the three easy steps um, to collect the DNA and receive the report. So first step is collect your dog's DNA, second is to activate it online, and the third is to mail the test in. And then it should take... It, or it says it takes like two to three weeks for you to get those results so I'm gonna film this first half now when I'm actually getting his DNA and then I'll get back to y'all when I actually do get those results in okay so let's just open her on up here so it slides on out and on the back here in big letters this is really important it says do not destroy this is your shipping container so don't just tear through it because you're so excited to do this test so you do need to save this box and it already has the postage sticker on there so you open it up and this is what it looks like inside something i will point out though is this blue part here it says important please wait approximately two hours after a meal or treat before collecting the dna sample so we've waited a few hours since hammy has had breakfast but i've also gone as far as to keep him away from my other dog riley because i don't want them licking each other and then mixing their saliva and the results not come out accurate and I also haven't let him chew on any of his toys because if there's saliva on there still I'm afraid that that's gonna throw it off so poor Hammy has been up here pretty much on house arrest on my bed while we waited for those couple of hours to go by so here we go okay so you have to peel this thing out first this is the swab that you're gonna use on the inside of his cheek if I could get it open, here we go. So this is what it looks like, pretty much kind of looks like a mascara brush. Okay, so it says that I have to roll this in between his cheek and his gums for about 15 seconds. So he's probably not gonna like it, but we'll see how it goes. Okay, so we just finished swabbing his mouth and he didn't really appreciate it, so I'm sorry, Hammy. And in the box, they have these little slots in there that you're supposed to put the handles in to let the swabs air dry. And while you're doing that, you have to go um, activate your kit online. So you're supposed to go to a website called activatemykit.com and activate your test using the sample ID on the end of your box. So here I am now. Okay, so now you just put your dry swabs back into this little sleeve thing um, and you don't reseal it. And then you just put it back in this box and then seal it up and it says it's already prepaid so you can just pop it into your mailbox and it should be good to go. So I'm really excited to see how it works and to see what results we get because I know that he's some sort of chihuahua mix but I have no idea what the mix is, you know? For a while there I kind of thought maybe he was part pug but it's just because I was in denial that he was getting fat, so... But yeah, I'm super excited to see how this goes. Who knows if it's going to be like extremely accurate because I have seen um, reviews and other videos of people doing this kind of thing where they get the results back and it's like, what? What do you mean my teeny tiny little teacup chihuahua is actually part pit bull and that kind of stuff, you know what I mean? So we'll see how far off we think this is. But yeah, that's it for now and I should be getting the results for this um, in about two to three weeks via email so I will open that up on camera for y'all to see. So I'll see you guys then. All right. <laughs> okay guys, here we are again. So, oh, there's Riley too. Okay, Riley decided to join us. You can't see her, but she's here. It's finally time to reveal Hammy's DNA. Are you excited, Bubba? <gasps> Yeah, me too. <laughs> so I got the email yesterday saying that the results were in, um, but I haven't opened it yet because I said that I was going to do it on camera. So let's log into that stuff. So I got an email from Wisdom Health saying, Hi Julie, it's the moment you've been waiting for. Hamilton's Wisdom Panel results are ready. And this actually didn't take as long as I thought it was gonna. So I mailed in his DNA on Thursday night, and then I got the email on that following Tuesday saying that they had received his DNA 
um, and that it was going to take two to three weeks for them to process it and figure out what he is. So I'm very surprised that I actually have the results now because I was thinking that it was going to take another couple of weeks to get them. From the time that they told me they had received his DNA to now, it's only been a week and two days, so that's pretty good. Anyway, let's keep going. Uh, I don't remember my password. Let's see. Aha. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. Ah, I'm so excited! Sample status. Results are ready. <sighs> okay, here we go. Discover all about Hamilton. The results are in. Let's take a look at what the DNA told us about Hamilton's ancestry. Ah! Oh my gosh, Hammy! <laughs> oh boy! Okay. Hamilton's breed by percentage. Exciting news, the results are in. Here's what makes Hamilton so unique. Using the data generated from Hamilton's DNA, our sophisticated computer algorithm performed over 17 million calculations. Dang. Um, what you see here is Hamilton's ancestry by percentage. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I'm super duper excited. You guys, oh my gosh. Okay, so... We knew he was a Chihuahua mix of some sort, and of course Chihuahua is his dominant breed. So he is 62.5% Chihuahua, 12.5% Pomeranian, what? 12.5% Toy Poodle, and then 12.5% breed groups. So in that it's like a little subcategory, and it says Terrier, Companion, Middle East and African, and Sighthound. You're part Pom? <gasps> You're part Pomeranian. I don't see it. I really don't see it. I don't see it at all. Um, and I definitely don't see the uh, poodle in him. But he does have really weird fur. It's not curly, but it's kind of like wiry, which is why I thought that he was going to be some sort of terrier. Like I thought terrier was going to be more dominant, but I don't know. Well, he's fat right now, so you can't really tell. But besides the rolls, like his fur is kind of like... It does like this weird little wave thing. I don't know how to explain it. But he does have kind of a poofy tail. Oh boy, Ham, we figured out what you are. <gasps> we know what makes you, you. So I'm happy to say that I am pleased with the results because I was afraid of getting some really wacky results because I've, like I've said, I've seen some uh, videos about this and reviews of this online. People had like these teeny tiny dogs and they were getting all of these random large breed um, results. I guess like if people had dogs like Riley's size here and they were getting results that she was like Mastiff Pitbull or something like that. So I'm glad that that didn't happen to us um, and that I think that these results are pretty believable. So what do you guys think? Do you see the Pomeranian in him somehow? Do you see the Poodle in him? As always, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please give me a thumbs up and make sure to hit the subscribe button so you'll see more of my videos. Thanks for following us along on this journey to reveal Hammy's DNA. We'll talk to you guys next time. Bye!